So, happy Monday, everybody. It's Mixed Media Monday. What I'm going to do is embossing powders. And I've got these embossing powders. Let me leave them this way so you can see all the different colors that came in this set. And... um. What it was a while back, I think it was Amazon I got it on. And it was like color with embossing or something like that. Um, I believe it was Stampendous, but I could be wrong. I'm not real sure anymore. It's been a while. So, um, and I wanted to come back and redo it in a different way. I did it with stencils. But I wanted to come back and do it with a die. And I'm thinking like this is like skeleton dies. And I'm hoping, even though here from what I can see, there are small openings. I'm still kind of hoping that's going to work. Um, and all we can do is wait and see. So, um, and I don't know what you know about embossing. But... Let me give you a little bit. I got these at Tuesday morning. So, see, they're a little more smaller than I was hoping for. But we're going to try it anyways. Let me just give you a little bit of, um, I have the, um, Dauber, I guess is what you'd call a blending tool. The round one from Spectrum Noir. I prefer the round one. Sometimes I like the the rectangle one. It's bigger. But for something like this, I like the round one or the little finger daubers. You just have to know if you use a finger dauber for this, you probably won't be able to use it for anything else. You may even have to throw it away. This can get a little... Mm, you know, it doesn't dry nice. It's like an, um, I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, it's it doesn't um, dry like a, the water-based. So, um, so I got the translucent clear embossing. Um, it says embossing and resist. Translucent clear. I don't know what they mean by resist, but we're going to go ahead and this is what we'll use. And then I have all these colors. And it was a flower that they showed. So it was like, that's what this was for. And you can see there's like two greens, two blues. These, I don't know which ones should go together. Those two or those two or... There's another blue there that's a, really a purple, a pink. And that goes with that. I mean, you know. Anyways, it's it's a floral. It was a floral set. I don't know if it's still available or not. What I'm going to do is just show you a little bit of the difference. So I'll pick a color and I'm going to pick this purple. And I'm going to do it. on the black paper and on the white paper. And so this is probably going to be kind of a long video and it's going to be a loud video because of the heat gun. So um, just be ready for that. I've got my soda here and I'm ready to go, but I do want to show you the difference. This is already plugged in and on and ready to go, my heat gun. You need a heat gun. I need a piece of paper for underneath and that I like to use I didn't think about it beforehand so now I'm like oh I need a piece of paper I like to use a thin paper so that's kind of what I'm looking for is something thin make sure you don't still have your you know just use this I use this. Um, you don't want to still have your silicone mat on here. Um, 
Heat's not good for it. Embossing powder is not good for it. So if you have a silicone mac, please take it off. Okay, and first we'll do on the white, we'll give it a shot. And I'll just show you a little bit how I do it. So I'm inking it up. Ink, ink. Okay. Then you pour your embossing powder on. And you dump it off. Now, I don't have an embossing tool. I mean, the embossing buddy. I do not have. So, you can kind of tap it. And then come in with a little brush. And wipe any of that extra way just be careful about stuff that's too close then because you've used thinner paper you can hopefully then bring your bottle back in and pour the embossing powder back into the container and it really takes nothing to emboss it takes hardly any so here's the white. And the white. So now I see it turning shiny. I will move it. Make sure it all turns shiny. And there I have it. So this is like a blended color. You can even see there's blue and like a light purple in there or a violet color in there. And you can see now it's raised. It's still hot. Um, the paper's still hot. Don't mess with it until it cools off. Let it cool off. Okay. Then we have the black. And I'll show you... The same, the same color, but on black now. And we'll see if it's the same, if it looks different. You know, what is it going to do now? Let's put the paper underneath. I know the black paper seems to be sucking in that ink. that really nice okay and then bring my bottle back and get that embossing powder back in the bottle I got kind of hung up on that tape I right, get that tape off of there I don't want to have to worry about that tape every time so tape is gone, cleared off. Doesn't look like I really have too much to take away. And so now we're gonna heat it again. We're gonna do the same thing. When we see it get shiny, we're gonna move it, move the embossing tool a little bit to aim it in a different spot. Okay, that was fast, right? But now we have the two different looks. And it does look like I got it on. Very solid. You can see a lot of black behind there. You really can't see much white. Um, I might not have picked the best color for that in comparison. Uh, let's try this straight red and see what we get. And I'm going to do them both at the same time. I'm just going to 
Do red. Do red. And oh, look at that chunk. I've never seen a chunk of embossing powder like that before. I don't worry about pouring too much on because I know I'm going to be tapping it off and pouring it back in. Like I didn't even stamp the white that good. You will want to get your brush come clean it up a little bit, but you gotta be careful. When you get inside that line, it's gonna knock it right off. See? See what I just did? That is not glue. All that is, is wet. <laughs> That's it. It's not glue and it's not gonna hold it there. Okay, and then these back together and get them in there. Well, that red's a little stickier on here. Okay. So, let's see how they look. Now, the red and the red. I should probably do it this way. The red and the red. Can you see this other one? Or maybe not with the camera. Okay. Red. So let's compare. So really, there is a little bit of difference. This one actually looks more marbled. This is pretty solid red. Now I don't know if these are fine or coarse. I'm thinking that they're coarse. They don't look like fine line to me. Um. And you see how kind of chunky it can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss it on white. I'm going to outline with black. But what I want to do is do the outline first. Um, so I think which flower do I want to do? Maybe this one. Let's get a folder. My keys right here. Now, if you use the, you can use opaque ink. Um, any opaque ink basically does the same thing. You just have to be careful about. Um, different colors underneath certain colors but if you did like red over red purple over purple you're generally going to be okay but um, you do have to be careful they can change the color a little bit like you've seen how that black shone through the embossing powder your ink would do the same thing if there's not a solid Underneath, if that makes sense. So I'm taking out 
And I'm going to try to just take out these. You know what? I'm taking them all out because I'm going to glue it down. So they got to all come out anyways. If I was going to just use it like a stencil, I would only take out the ones I want to color at the time. And I got this die set from Tuesday morning. Yeah. In case you didn't see my one video Tuesday morning. Not all the stores are closing, but mine are. Okay, and then I'm going to do some of these leaves. More than one of the leaves. So I got to run that through. And I'm going to try to. just to see if it'll do too. This is some thick black paper. It's Crafter's Companion black paper, but I don't know other than this is stuff that Crafter's Companion sends. It's like a cardstock. It is a cardstock, I would say. Not like a cardstock. It is a cardstock. Let's see if it went all the way through. It did. Let's see if it gave me details on the second one, though. Sometimes it'll cut that outside shape, but it won't give you that detail cut stuff out. Looks like it did. So I may just settle on the two. Okay. All right. So there's my two leaves and my flower. So I'm going to look at the card and how do I want it, what size do I want it, and all of that. Make your decisions. I'm just going to cut a piece. Oh, what did I just do with those scissors? Let me get these out of here. Mmm. Oh, I put the trash back way over there. Okay. I'm just going to cut a piece. This is watercolor paper. I didn't realize I was grabbing watercolor paper. I don't think I would have done it on watercolor paper. But I grabbed what I grabbed. So now I'm just going to... Oops. This is going to go this way, and this one will go this way, and that's how I'm going to go it down. I'm going to use this marker thing because I love the way it works. <laughs> For me, anyways, it works very well. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. I thought this was the little marker pen, and it's not. This is the actual glue from Tonic. I thought, thought I was grabbing Crafter's Companion marker pen. I tried it on the animals, and I really like the way it works for little things. Like this. <laughs> Ooh, 
that a little. I need to get some of that off. So I hope y'all are off. Or have an easier day today. You should have easier traffic, I would think. Okay, there's the flower. Pretty too. It's a pretty flower. I like it. And I'm going to grab, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and use this since I have it open. Let's see. That's the thing, right? That's tough. The pin to dripping right now. Stuff out. Let me put the top back on it. Because I don't think I'm going to need after this. Not for a while, anyways. But it was just laying there dripping. Shouldn't have done that that close to the edge. That's going to limit my size now. I'm going to take it off. Hopefully. I don't know what I was thinking. Now I got to be careful because that embossing powder is going to want to stick to that. That was not a good thing. Not a good thing. Okay. Okay, I better stick that back there, just because I don't want trouble, and that could be major trouble. Now, here's the thing. Now, I'm going to put the ink on, the um, clear ink, and I have my brush out still, so as long as I'm brushing outside, of that line because I'm going to be doing the embossing inside these lines. So my first start is going to be green for the leaves. So I'm just going to put the ink in on whatever. You know what? This is not going to work. It needs to be a dauber has to be a dauber. So if you don't want to use a dauber, you can use like a makeup sponge or something like that, but that's too big and I'm not gonna be able to stop it from being on the top and all of that, right? So I'm just gonna get a dauber. It might still not. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna completely change all of this, and I'm not even using this. I'm gonna get my little pen marker, and that's what I'm gonna use. That way, I can get inside here, here, here here. I need my paper underneath. I have my greens. I'm going to put some, oops, I didn't mean to do that much. I wanted to be very easy with that because
I still wanted to get some of that other green in there. See where it's over the edge? Now I have that paper border, so it's easier to wipe this away. Don't forget, I put that ink over this too, so you know that's gonna make it a little more messier. But with the glue now, it should be easier. So, oh, I missed. Look, look at what I did. Oh my goodness! Okay. So now I can also put some on, where did I? There it is. I'm like, where'd I put the pen? I know I just had it. Okay. I'm gonna put some on here too. Okay, so now we got that, and then, because it's glue, and it's tacky glue, and it's not drying, it's just getting tackier and tackier, I'm now going to come in with the lighter green and give that a try and see if this works, where I can get the two colors in there, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's see how that worked. Oh, really? Didn't fill in over here. I do have the other ink pen, the pen pen. In here somewhere. It's in here. There it is. I see it. So I could always use that if I need to come back and do that to fill it in. Oh, I just completely missed. Let me try sweeping it up. I mean, yes, you get a lot of embossing powder, but that much embossing powder I could do a lot with. So. I want to get that off and get it in my little thing here. Just why waste it? Okay, so now for the heat tool. Uh -oh. Where did that come from? I need to step this up, don't I? I need to get a little faster at this. Okay, it's going to get loud. Hold your ears.
Okay. So there's the leaves. Not looking so great. But we'll see in a minute what we're going to do. Right now I want to work on the flower and on the inside of the flower. Should we do the inside of the flower? Yeah, inside. And try to get all the way in there. Try to get those corners. That's what happened there. I didn't get the corners good enough. That's why a stencil is nice. But unless you have... I wanted the outline. So that's why I'm using this. And I'm thinking I'm using blue. Nope. I'm not closing it yet. Okay. See, I missed some spots. I did. These bottles are very narrow, so it's giving me a little bit of a hard time getting it back in if I'm not, you know. See, I got ink on my outline. So now, I have to get the embossing powder off the outline. Okay. That's almost, almost right. Okay. And now we're going to heat that. I love blue and purple. I'm going to use blue and purple. But since I got this blue, I'm going to use that one that had that mix. mix. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just come in here. Try to get those corners as best as I can. And kind of trying to avoid the outline, but you know, you can't do all of it, right? Okay, so now I use that blue and purple mix. That should be pretty, I think. I 
No, don't go to yet. <laughs> Look at it. I'm gonna take and get some of this off. Got a lot of powder here. Okay. And now just heat it. Okay, so here's what we got. But we got white pieces, right? Now that's... What's the word? It's plastic. It's a plastic coating. Let me have a drink real quick. Sorry, folks. Um, and if we keep heating it up, it's going to keep melting but at some point you're gonna just break it down too much but I do have white spots and in my white spots where it's green and in the blue I don't really have that many in that purple area I'm gonna put yellow but I have this glue pen and it's very narrow where's scrap people Hmm. You should always have some scrap paper somewhere Ugh. for things like that, right? Just make sure that glue's coming out of there. I'm gonna get some more of these pens from Rochester Bain because I could see me use them for everything. And I'm just gonna take and get some glue, some. Now this glue in all these areas, I don't want to get it good. I don't want to have to come over this too much, right? There's a little spot there and a little spot there. A little spot here. We're just really wanting to make it look like... just It's just to fill in, but that color that will work with all of them. Make sure I'm still getting glue out. See, I get worse sometimes. I just don't see the glue. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over and bring the yellow, and the yellow might be a little a little bright. I might wanna go with the peach, but you know something that works on the leaves and the flower. 
is a good thing. Even if I went back with green or something like that, but I thought let me let me show you the yellow. Just to fill it in. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this yellow back in here. But I'm going to look first, and I can see that on this leaf. None of that yellow really caught. So make sure my glue's working. And I'm going to get glue down in there. I just really don't want any white poking through. So there's another spot where there's really nothing. That might do it. Hopefully that does it. Okay. Put that. And look, there it is. And I'm not seeing white space, but I might see a little too much color on the black so I'm gonna come back just kind of tap this stuff to work it free and I'm hoping not to do too much you know what I mean you don't want to tap it I mean when I'm doing this to empty it into the thing I'm not worried about it but when it's on your thing you don't want to tap it too much and knock it off but sometimes a firm good tap is what you need it just depends okay and I'm gonna come through and kind of clear up that black a little bit it doesn't look like it wants to it looks like I let it get on there too good I should have used this small one all the way through from the very beginning but I did it so now I have to deal with this. I hope you feel like you're learning some stuff. Okay, and so I'm gonna heat my gun now. And get it going now. Some people won't even use the heat gun unless it's already heated up. I will go ahead and put it on and wait for it to start. Remember, you do not want to overheat it. It will kill it. I don't know what you would call it. Um, it just kind of goes flat-like. Because right now it's got a texture, right? But if you overheat it, it'll kind of go flat. So, I uh, got too much on the black overlay a 
Let's try this. Let's try going back over. The overlay with these fine liners. Working pretty good, I think. Right? This one's got a little bit more yellow. I think if I had used that smaller glue pin from the very beginning, this would not be an issue. All right. Yeah, I got way too much out of the embossing powder in here. Way, way too much. I shouldn't have to do this. You shouldn't have to do this. So next time, I will definitely use a little bitty glue pen We gotta try this stuff all out, right? We gotta we don't know until we try it. So see that yellow ended up on the um die cut and became instead of just kind of a background color it kind of took over and that was not what I wanted it to do that's why I was like oh no 
Gotta do something about this black. This is not gonna work. So as soon as I finish here, you can see how the background color works. I might have been better off using the peach, but I kind of went with the yellow because of the leaves. And I could have just gone back with green on the leaves and back with the colors. But, um, my thing is I don't want to heat it too many times. And every time it gets hot, I worry that it's going to break down. So there. There we go. Now, all we have to do is get something we want to decorate. Here's this little thing so it should be pretty easy to cut out I'm just gonna go around To me, this is kind of fake <laughs> fussy cutting because um, I'm just kind of given the impression of going around the image and not really going around the image. So, and if you don't like the way it turns out, You can go back and trim it a little bit more. But there it is. So I could put that there. Put it here. There. Looks pretty there. I might put it there. Hmm. Kind of looks like it was made to go there. Let's see how shiny it is. You can see shiny it could go here but then that's not gonna close right so it has to go out here so let me take this and glue from dripping out a minute ago to not wanting to come out at all now. Here we go. Okay. So if you'd use just some things about embossing powders. If you use a colored ink and a clear embossing powder, it's going to show the color of the ink. A clear ink with a colored embossing powder is going to show the color of the embossing powder. Clear ink with clear embossing powder is going to be like a watermark. It's going to be clear. When you mix colors of inks, with embossing powders. I'm not real sure what happens with that. Um, I've never really tried it, to be honest with you. I guess it depends on if you have um, an embossing powder that's kind of see-through or one that's not. Is it translucent? Is it not? 
Um, a lot of people say get clear embossing powder, use colored ink, then you have every color embossing powder. I don't know that it looks the same. And honestly, I don't think I even have clear embossing powder. All my embossing powder has color. I, I should get some because I should, I guess. But for now, I don't have any. But just basic stuff there. Um, what else do we... I don't know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe, please. Thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a blessed Monday. This has been a long video. And so thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you for my next one. Bye-bye now.